We're going to go ahead and do this little exercise. So again, even if you don't want to speak out loud, definitely type something in the chat for everyone to see as far as your contribution to this activity that we're getting ready to do. I had a professor who showed me that reading is more than just words on a page. I didn't realize you could analyze a book to such an extent and and pick things apart and dissect it and do all these great things and so i was like this newfound love of reading coupled with my already existing passion for writing i'm like this is this is what i need to do and i want to share that with young people for you what is your go-to book what is the book that you read and every time you read it you learn something new i would absolutely have to say Toni Morrison's The Bluest Eye. It is absolutely incredible. And I love how Toni Morrison said that she stepped away from um, writing about adults to focus on a little black girl, which I, I loved that. And we don't see that her life is easy, but we see how everyone in people's lives, we all are connected in some way and we all have an impact on each other in some way. So what are your thoughts about what you saw during that interview? When you see her, here's someone who says, well, I identify as black, but she was clearly a white person. What are your thoughts about just that one statement that she made? It's kind of like, I don't want to say disrespectful, but like how like the LGBT says, oh, like I am for I like I'm this, I'm that. But like with race, you can't just choose to be that race. You also teach African American literature. Yes. Why is it important for every student to study African American literature? Um, I will just give you a very plain answer to that. I think that. It is something that, based on the way so many curriculums are built, it doesn't allow for you to just hone in. Even if you just do one unit, there's still not enough time to be able to hone in on all the different things that you can look at as far as literature by different um, black authors or when it comes to poetry, when it comes to um, filmmaking. There are so many different things that black people have contributed to literature that I feel like everybody needs to learn more about this and it's so relevant to today. By the time a student finishes your African American literature class, what is the thing that you want them to take away about the black experience in America? <sighs> that Plain and simple, we just have so much more to do. We've come so far as a nation, but there's still so much work that's left to be done. And I know that's a very simple statement, but it's so loaded. And I think I just kind of carry myself that way in the classroom. Um, I've created a space where these young people feel like, especially my, my students of color, feel like they have an outlet. They, they have a safe space, they have um, an advocate in me. So when it comes to the black experience, I want them to see success. I want them to see someone who was able to get beyond and make something of myself despite the odds that may have been stacked against me.